Hello and welcome back to week 40 on the Monostro journey and today I'm going to be showing you all the updates that we have over the last 8 weeks. As you can see in the webcam we have quite the strong beard going on. Uh, this little area up here could do a little bit with uh, more filling in. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So on week 0 we had pretty much nothing. We had a couple of little um, strands of air, I guess, on the, the sideburn area, but we had nothing. When I look at uh, other Monosto videos on YouTube, I find that everyone started with something. Be it a chin beard, sideburns or a moustache, I don't really know. But People start with uh, something, but when I look at my videos, I had literally nothing. I mean, look at this. Nothing at all. But on week four, we started to get um, <clears throat> a lot of little strands of hair going all the way up. Uh, even up to here, at my eyeball area. But, um... <laughs> then on week eight, we had... A massive growth in here but we also had a, a good gain of acne and I didn't like that part as you can see we had hair up to our eyeballs not figuratively literally up to our eyeballs right up to here and um, but we also had a lot more acne going on <coughs> and uh, one thing I haven't noticed actually in a while has uh, been the dryness of the skin I've had dryness on my skin since about week 8. After about 2 months I never got dryness anymore. But uh, week 12 is when we started getting that big jump. Um, obviously the acne has still been a problem but the, the hair started to get thicker. And maybe it wasn't terminal at that point but it definitely looked a lot uh, thicker than say week 8 for example. Um, then on week 24 we took a three month break and when we came back this is what we had so as you can see we had uh, the sideburn still looking not bad but a lot of the other hairs a lot of the other hairs had uh, disappeared um, but still looking pretty good our acne was also kind of disappearing which is kind of nice then on week 28 we decided to grow out for a month and what ended up happening was I noticed I started to get uh, basically terminal hair up at the top of the cheek but in the middle of the cheek was a lot of sparse nothingness I guess. The hairs were kind of everywhere uh, but nowhere at the same time. Oh deep. But it was uh, yeah it didn't look too good. Uh, that's why I can keep it trimmed because I can't really grow out long. Uh, then on week 32, that's what it looked like. A um, couple of acne spots, sadly, but um, we also, pretty much the same thing had happened. Uh, I grew out for another month, but what ended up happening was, again, the hairs up here were terminal, but uh, the hairs in here were still a l pretty thin and not a lot of them. And now on week 40, this is where I've noticed something I like. And, well, sure the acne is gone, we don't really have acne anymore which is incredible. I'm so, so grateful for that. But what I did notice is I've grew this out for maybe two weeks, alright, so... And what is the one thing you notice right now when you're looking at this? Sure it might look like the hair has moved down a little bit, so we've lost a few hairs up here. But we've gained us something better. We've gained evenness. That's right, all the hairs over here, if you look over here, Pretty sparse, not looking good. Um, same thing here, pretty sparse, not looking good. But then, look at that, all even, all the way up here even. 
this little area here needs a little bit more work just right here but pretty much all even that's what I like to see now to the front of the face the chin and moustache we had a weak little tash going on I had that all through high school oh, looked awful uh, a couple of really really thin hairs here and obviously a lot, couple of hairs in the chin uh, on week 4 we started to get a little bit more acne but also we started to get a hairs uh, on the chin uh, then on week 8 is when we've seen the massive growth everywhere uh, including the front but the hairs all here were really thin like you couldn't really they were there but you couldn't see them unless it was under a flashlight like my phone um, then on week 12 pretty much the same not much change at the front uh, the change was everywhere else on week 12 but the front kind of stayed the same but with uh, acne still going on uh, then on week 24 this is the week where I grew out for a month uh, the left and right side as you noticed or you will notice is uh, a lot thinner on week 24 but the front looked way better the hairs over here were a lot thicker uh, and the connection was going quite well as well uh, on week 28 I noticed that not much had changed when I grew out for another month except the hairs here had grown up like if you notice they've all crawled in on week 28 which was quite nice to witness uh, then on week 32 we had more acne Ugh, yuck but it does look like quite a good fall if you take away the acne it actually it's not bad uh, and now this is week 40 <coughs> so uh, one thing you can notice is I've grown out for uh, two weeks since my last uh, trim and then before that about a month from my shave so yeah about a month and a half but um, yeah so the hairs on here are taking the longest to grow back after I shaved um, clean shaven the the hairs at the front here took so long to go back to normal they're getting there they're really close but as you notice there's still a few hairs that still haven't grown out and this is after a month and a half so they're really slow at growing in but what else can I add to the fall is the acne is going away except from this little guy up here this little guy up here he's not in a spot anymore he's just a red dot and it's a pain in the ass been there for like two months it will not go away now on to the neck here we go on week zero we had maybe about 20 hairs maybe 30 if we're lucky uh, week four started the vellus hairs coming in again week eight massive growth exact same again dryness of the skin though uh, then on week 12 Trimmed it all up, made it all look really neat, really great, uh, looking just amazing. No more dry skin either. Uh, on week 24, we're everywhere, everywhere else, the front, the left, the right, they all look a little bit thinner, weaker. The neck looked the same, if not better. And the hairs up here had cr crawled up over the three months. I let it grow out for a month, that was the result. Looking not bad, a lot of hair everywhere. Good. Now in week 32 we had this, which looks insanely good. Oh, what a let down. <laughs> I'm just going to go with a bad picture. I'm, I'm just going to say it's a bad picture, because, I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah, it's a bad picture. But, because I know for a fact I haven't lost that many years. Yeah. Um, okay. Alright, yeah, and the clean shaven thing. I remember doing a video uh, saying I was going to do a photo every day for a month and uh, upload that, but I ended up never going through with it. Uh, I did take a photo pretty much every day. I think I've got like five days out of the month, but uh, as you come to find, if I ever do upload the video, 
You'll see how slow the hair grows in. I mean, it's unbelievably slow, especially this chin area here. But, um, yeah, I keep forgetting to upload it or even put it together. Anywho's, let's move on. On our right side on week zero, again, we had a couple of strands of sideburn here. Nothing much, not that good. Week four, looking a little bit better. Looking, you know, we we're starting to get these uh, little velociraptors, and if you notice something down here, you see that line there? That is actually uh, the monarch still. It's, I don't know what it was, but it actually like dyed the skin a paler colour. Weird. Doesn't happen anymore, but it did happen. Uh, I think it was just me always scratching at it because right at the very start, that monarch still was really itchy. Really itchy. Um, and it burned a little bit. On week 8, we had a massive growth again, even on the right side. Happened everywhere. But we also had a massive growth of acne. Look at it. Just sprouting at my cheeks. Awful. Uh, week 12, looking a lot better. Hair everywhere, looks amazing. Acne, still a problem. On week 24, the hair looking, looking a little bit the same. Again, acne though, just a big problem. Just will not go away. Until now. Week 28, acne looking a little bit better. Uh, decided to grow it for a month and as you can see, we have a lot of sparse hair right here again. But the terminal hair coming down and connecting up here. Uh, yep, week 32 looking pretty strong, but again, the acne is, is killing me, man. Until week 40. Woo! Acne gone, here we go. As you can see, it's looking a lot better now. Um, sorry about this sideburn, it's a little bit wonky. I just came out of the shower at that point. Um, but if you notice something, uh, look back to week 28, when I grew it out for a month, what you found was, hairs up here were looking pretty strong, but the hairs in here were still thin and all over the place, and actually this little bit was looking kind of bald. Sorry. Um, but now if you look at it on week 40, I couldn't, I couldn't show you a bit where it was weaker. It all looks the same, pretty much. Maybe this little area down here is a little bit thinner, but you know what? That's, ugh, who cares? You've got your, you've got your chin area here, which is all the Mars, and it's looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, looking pretty good. So, guys, that was my forty-week update on Monoxtil. I hope you all enjoyed it. I do have a couple more things coming up for like one year in my still. I don't actually have anything coming up, but I'm going to create something. I'm going to make something spectacular for one year on my not still. But anyway, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you all sticking by, and I will see you all in four weeks. See you later.